Welcome back to the Life of a Gentleman podcast. Here is where the guys discuss, debate, and consider all aspects of living like a true gentleman. Rich and Anton will consider entrepreneurship, success, fashion and styling, family life, and everything in between. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our latest saunter into the life of a gentleman. Guys, Take it away. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Life of a Gentleman podcast. And in this installment, we're going to be talking about the importance of dressing to impress uh, or dressing up on certain days or going out looking your best. Um, what does it do? Does it influence the way people think, um, how they perceive you, uh, how they react to you? Uh, is it something that we should do or is it something that you think uh, maybe really shouldn't, or does it matter? Um, Rich, what do you what do you think about the dressing to impress when it comes to how we leave the house uh, day yeah. to day? Yeah, you know what? Um, people are gonna say, man. Of course, well, what's Rich gonna say? Of course, he's got a bias. He wants us all to buy suits, you know. But, uh, <laughs> no, but in, in reality, though, too, um, I think it is important to to dress your best, look your best when you're going out. And I think let's just be honest. Um, this conversation got spurned on by uh, Kevin Samuels talking about the suit up Saturday thing. Right. And if, if those that don't know what that is, maybe Anton, you can just kind of fill them in on what suit up Saturday, the concept was. Yeah. So from what I understood, um, the concept is no matter what you're going to do, you're running your errands, uh, you're going to the bank, you're going to the market, um, you're going to a, a couple different places where you go out yeah. uh, full suited. Um, maybe not a tie, but you got to, you know, slacks, uh, button up jacket, maybe not depending where you are in your region, but you're not going out in what's easy, right? We, we generally, our go-to is some sweats and a tee and then we're out the door. Um, but you go out, uh, dressed to impress, right? You're going out with some slacks, some, some hard bottoms or some nice, you know, loafers or something. And you're taking care of your runs from there. So that, that's basically where this came from, from Sam yeah, and it's basically a social experiment to see what would happen, you know, what would happen, how you were treated, how you were right. perceived or how it right. made you feel, even, you right. know, which would be more important. What did it do for you? So right. um, I've talked about this for years with a few different close friends of mine, and we've all tried it um, for various degrees. And the consensus is that it's very powerful. Uh, you will... Uh, get doors open for you that ordinarily may not have been opened and uh, right. this level of service that you get uh, the treatment respect from others um, the way even little kids you know look up to you like man who's this guy you know stuff right. like that and right. uh, you know and for the single guys you know you get some cooperation you know from, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there, there's there's different benefits for wherever you are in life um, yeah yeah but to me, it's something that you should try. Um, if you haven't tried it, I would suggest you try it. And especially if you're in a, a business, you're an entrepreneur, especially a business that we're in doing custom suits, custom shoes, right. things like that. We have right. to look our best. And if we dress down, for me, it, it leads to missed opportunities. Right. Right. I, th I think that's the key. Just understanding that um, depending upon what you're trying to do right so there's a couple of different aspects right so how does it make you feel when you walk out right now if you're not used to being in a suit or you're not used to dressing up you might feel uncomfortable but it doesn't mean that the people that see you are uncomfortable seeing you right so generally when a man walks through a door in a suit i don't know what it is i don't know if it's just this country i haven't been to a lot of other countries and experience how you know they react to a person in a suit but generally, when you see a man in a well-fitted suit, you automatically going to get respect. Automatically. And they, are, they, they generally going to ask questions. Oh, where are you coming from? Or, oh, oh, you're part of the conference or you're part of this convention or, or something else. You know, there's always, you know, because they aren't used to people. This isn't the 50s or the 60s where yeah. people just, <laughs> just walked out with button-ups. So it does, you know, it, it's yeah. going to open up conversation. It's going to spark interest. People are going to pay attention. And we're not saying doing it just to, to, to garner attention. Sure. But 
I think the most important thing is that no matter where you are, you want to be respected, right? Yeah. And it's definitely not going to lessen the respect that you're going to receive from others. It it won't do that. Yeah, no, right. It ain't going to (laughs) hurt. Yeah. It's not going to hurt. No, no, not at all. Uh, You know, it was funny. We were just doing a trunk show in Atlanta. This was probably uh, a few weeks ago. And I remember uh, we got a recommendation for a nice, uh, we wanted to get a nice steak dinner. Remember that? And right. they, they pointed us to a place I think it was called Little Alley. Yeah, yep, Little, uh, Little Alley. Shout out to Little Alley in the land. They treat <laughs> yeah. us real nice down there. It was re- real, real good, real yeah, nice. really good. But here's the funny part. I remember we called to make reservations and they said uh, they were full. Remember that? Yeah. And, and they say um, you have to sit outside you have to sit or outside. Something. And then I sit at the bar. And I right. told you, I told you. Remember that same time I said, I know what they said, <laughs> but we're fully, we're fully suited yeah. up. Let's go and in booted. And, yeah. <laughs> we're fully suited up. And I said, let's just go ask. And, um, we went in and we told them, uh, we called, said there was, there was nothing. We'd have to sit outside and they, they looked at us, they looked us up and down. And then she said, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> She did. It, it, yeah. I, like this is like this is no lie. Yeah. Because like I was I was ready to make the turn to walk back out the door to go back to the bar. And then she she literally said, just hold up a second. Yes. Yeah, and said, hold on. Yep. Let she me see what I night. can let me see what yep. I can find for you guys. Yep. And and that has happened to me several times. Um I told the story on a podcast a while back. Uh I was traveling um to New York for an event fully suited again um plane as they're always these days kind of overbooked uh, we need people to get off or need people to move around and do all these different things on the seats and um to fit everybody on they said they needed somebody for first class to move up i was in coach right you know right 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 so right, right. uh I was in coach you know was <laughs> until <laughs> it's already they, over <laughs> they scan they scan the crowd okay who should we move up to first class this guy right here, <laughs> the guy that's wearing the full suit, right? Sir, do you mind coming up to first class? Not at all. You know what I mean? It was what like, I, I think I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. You know, right. if somebody has to do it, I'll sacrifice. And um, you know, just things like that happen over and over when you're well dressed. Yeah. When when you, it doesn't take. And honestly, when I'm in these custom suits, I'm comfortable. Like it's yeah. not like I want to. I'm uncomfortable and I want to just get back into my sweats and stuff like that. No, I, you know, so to me, the benefits outweigh not doing it, you know, right. to be honest. It definitely does um, open up opportunities for conversation. Like if you're in an industry where you deal with people, you talk mm-hmm. to people, maybe you, you know, you're selling something of some sort or um, insurance, whether it be, uh, what's another industry where you have to talk to people? Whatever it may be, well, you know, all you kinds just have of sales to, professions. I yeah, think, you know? sales professionals. Um, when you're dressed a certain way, someone's going to take you. And I'm not saying that it should, it has to be, but it is. It's human nature. Uh, human nature. So somebody's going to respect a man who looks professional. And like I said, I'm not saying it should or it has to be, but it is what it is. Yeah, right? this is what it 100%, is. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And the so thing for you, me. Oh no, go ahead, Anton. No, I was just going to say, if you look the part, um, you've already taken down one wall that might be between you and what you're trying to accomplish. And even if you're you, even if only what you were trying to do was to buy a bagel in the morning, if you are there and somebody is apt to open a conversation with you because of the way you dress, guess what? That's free money. Yeah. You know, that's a free that's free engagement. That's a that's a card that you've given out that you probably wouldn't have given out before just because you came dressed up. Yes. As a matter of fact, last week I did a Zoom um, appointment consultation with a gentleman from Florida who was in the uh, financial services industry and he right. was getting a custom suit. He used to be going to, uh, you know, uh, big box stores, getting suits off the rack. But um, he wanted to step his game up because he noticed the better that he dressed, the more people would come up to him. And he said it was an opportunity to introduce uh, what he did. People would ask yes. him questions, you know. And so he was basically using the purchase of his custom suit as advertisement because right. 
the better he looks, he says, the more business he gets because that's more opportunities of people coming to him, giving right. compliments or asking questions. And then it's easy for him to say, um, well, I'm dressed this way. This is what I do. If, if you ever need anything. And the same with us, you know, as yeah. custom clothiers, we want to look our best um, because when people ask us questions, it's easy for us to then transition not to a hard sell or anything, but just let them mm-hmm. know, you know, this, this people is don't trip like yeah. dressing right legitimizes whatever you are trying to do. Yeah. I mean, two examples already, the restaurant, the hotel, or excuse me, not the hotel, the, uh, the, the That's restaurant. That's the Jodeci album. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the after party. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> right. no, but you know, the airline, the situation. Yes. And even at hotels, yeah, you can get upgraded. You know, I did that in Vegas. Exactly. I went out to Vegas for the, uh, used to go every year for the magic show. Right. Um, It's a big fashion event. And um, asked for an upgrade. I did it one time. No, honestly, seriously, did this almost as an experiment. I did it one, a few years. I did it, um, showed up there. No, just because it's Vegas, casual, uh, wasn't ready for the event. And then I did it another year. Um, kind of flew fully suited out to Vegas, no tie, but I mean, right. still had the suit, asked for a room upgrade and they gave me a strip view for free. And it was, it was an amazing strip view. So, yep. um, the opportunities I got a, are there. I got a quick story too. Yeah. Right. So just recently, um, I just measured a client and, um, he's to some degree always, uh, dibbled and dabbled into the custom realm. Sometimes he wasn't happy with that. But over the, I want to say maybe a year or so ago, he's in the real estate market. He got a, um, a business coach and his business coach told him how important it was the way he looked, right? Yep. Um, that he probably needed to start going custom. And you're just like, well, well, why? You know, who, you know, I think what people don't understand is um, that the, what you wear, when it fits you properly and it fits you well, it does something for your psyche, right? It does something to the mental. Like you can, yep. so if you feel like right now you could command a room in your underwear, put a custom suit on and go into that same room. So not only do you have the confidence to command that room, the people who are in that room who no longer see you in your underwear can put faith and the things that you were saying, or at least to say this guy, you know, so like I said, I'm not saying it's what it should be, but it's what it is that how we dress and then just liking, you know, I, I like to be in a suit. I like to, to look good. I like to feel, it makes me feel great. You know, when I'm, when I'm dressed and don't get it twisted. I like sweats and tees, you know, you won't see me here, <laughs> but I like my sweats and tees too. But when it's, I, I would say just try, you know, try to experiment, you know, on a Saturday morning when you're running your errands, instead of putting on the shorts and a tee, if you don't want to go full suit, put a button up on and some slacks or some trousers. And then once you do that once or twice, just move it on up. Just put the suit on and see what it does. I guarantee or you. Or sports jacket, it, right? Right. Or yeah. sports jacket, yeah. right? Sports you don't have to have a tie and everything. But, so, you know. Nice look. Sports jacket, polo, jeans. Right. Nice look still look like business still like you're trying to do something and i guarantee you people are going to look at you and it's going to be easier for you if you'd like to spark conversation to start those conversations so you can go out of the house with the hopes of just getting a couple of donuts and some coffee but your ulterior motive might be to give out a couple of business cards start a couple of conversations in your local area some markets you're trying to get into some areas you're trying to uh, get a foothold in it's going to help you to do those things yep so all you guys that are business minded entrepreneurs yes those that want to make the right connections get in the right rooms the right circles this is the way to do it dressing well will open up the door for you guys uh, we gave a couple of examples and um, I tell you what in future episodes maybe we'll go into a couple fails there were some times that I didn't do this and I missed out on some good opportunities And that's one of the reasons why I'm really big on this now. I'm kicking myself still over a couple of different opportunities um, that I missed out on 
when there was somebody I could have connected with that could have been a game changer for our business, but I didn't want to approach them because I was wearing a t-shirt and shorts. And right. Just didn't match. You know what I mean? Right. I don't think they would have taken me seriously. You had the um, know-how, you had the information, you had everything, yeah. but you and, and yourself, yeah. right, you and yourself felt like you, right. It didn't change anything, what you knew. It just changed how you felt about yep. uh, approaching that person. Yep. It's exactly. important. Yeah, it definitely is important. Well, guys, let us know what you think. As always, we love your feedback. And until next time on The Life of a Gentleman, take care. Good night.